Hello, myself, Mohammad Shakil Ahmad. Uh, this is my first video English speaking. So today I try to explain how to if we do the pipe fabrication job. So if I have here also 45 degree elbow and there also 45 degree elbow and this is the measurement at 3 inch dia of pipe. So how do we uh, how do we calculate the offset how many millimeter or how many millimeter is we cut this short piece of pipe. So my friend we try to explain how we do this job done uh, we we calculate the measurement. So we know about here to here here to here 395 millimeter and here to here also 395 millimeter and this pipe length is 200 millimeter and here to here also 200 millimeter and this elbow 45 degree bend this elbow also 45 degree bend but dia is 3 inch diameter the pipe and elbow also so if the elbow is 3 inch diameter so we first try to convert inchy to mil millimeter like example we should know 25 sorry we should know 1 inch is equal to 25.4 millimeter actually 1 inch is equal to 25.4 millimeter so 3 inch 3 inch how many millimeter we first calculate so 25.4 into 3 is equal to 76.2 so now we know this elbow dia is 76.2 millimeter we already convert from inch to millimeter 76.2 millimeter okay this is after first we first we first our question is here to here how many millimeter here to here how many meter how many millimeter how we can calculate like example here have measurement here also have measurement here height also have the uh, horizontal also have measurement but here no have measurement here also no have measurement so we use this we always remember 1.4142 like example if you remember 1.4142 this is the uh, this is the ticks if you remember this one so you take this area 395 395 into this 1.4142 if you multiply so your result is 558 so we should know now here is 500 500 sorry 558 millimeter so now we already calculate from here to here 558 millimeter okay if here to here 500 millimeter so how about here here to here how many millimeter this is how can we calculate so example is this this is dia of elbow 76.2 millimeter so we have We have to multiply of 5. See, 76.2 into 5 is equal to 381. First, we multiply 76 into 76.2 into 5. 
this is 381 millimeter after we divide this 381 with 8 then our result is equal to 47.625 millimeter this is 47 47.625 millimeter is here elbow center to face this is face this is center center of elbow this is face of elbow so this center to face measurement is 447 millimeter now here also have one elbow here also have one elbow so we plus this plus sorry into two because two elbow into two is equal to 95.25 so we think this is 95 here have 47 and half, here have 47 and half. So total 95 millimeter. So this 558 millimeter is elbow center to center. We minus 95, 558 millimeter minus 95. So our result is 463 millimeter. So here, of course, 400. 63 millimeter so this is the procedure of calculate offset of this is a formula formula you have remember this one this is the formula 1.4142 if you remember this formula so you see this measurement this measurement to this formula multiply you can see 558 from elbow center to center and then after you calculate how much the center to face how many millimeter is center to face of elbow so this 45 degree elbow center to face you calculate at first this 3 inch you convert to millimeter this 3 inch when I convert to millimeter so our dia pipe diameter is 76.2 millimeter then after that this 76.2 this 76.2 millimeter we multiply with 5 this is also this is all also is formula we multiply with 5 then is equal to 381 then 381 then after we divide 8 then is equal to 447.625 millimeter this is formula of 45 degree elbow center to face calculate so my friend we already get 95 millimeter this is 95 millimeter is from here to here and here to here only one side 475 sorry for, uh, uh, for 47 millimeter 47.5 millimeter about 47.5 millimeter here and 47.5 millimeter here so total 95 millimeter when we minus from this center to center elbow when I 95 minus then we get 463 millimeter so here our measurement is 463 millimeter so if we go for fabrication this spool so we need to cut 200 millimeter one piece pipe 3 inch dia and another 200 millimeter one more pipe so one pieces two pieces and three pieces total we need three pieces pipe three inches three inches of dia and we need two elbow 45 degrees two elbow we need then after that we grinding and then we start tech welding and proper fit up then after we hand over the job to the welder for welding so my friend if we 
here is joined elbow with pipe so we must be no here must be we need to make the vevel you know the vevel i mean this is the procedure of vevel of pipe procedure of vevel of pipe like this pipe short piece we need to vevel here also this elbow also we need to vevel then after that we join this is the procedure this is the procedure of then after here have the gap then after we welding so we must be know need to know how much here we need to gap this gap name is root gap this gap name is root gap if we use tig welding like argon welding so here we need 500 mm root gap or if we use arc welding only stick welding so you must think our minimum electrode size is 2.4 mm or 2.5 mm stick rod 2.5 mm so minimum gap is allow if arc welding 2.5 mm if less than 2.5 mm then what is the problem when the welder are welding here the rod is cannot come inside so so root pass is no good after they are need the root pass so no more root pass because if the gap is shortage so the touch the weld electrode cannot go inside that's why we need maximum gap or minimum gap so this is the minimum gap if you still if you stick welding arc welding so you use this gap 2.5 mm minimum and then if you use the t welding or argon welding so you use this 4 mm mm of gap so how many degree you need to cut the vevel this is the question so we should know if the pipe have bevel the pipe bevel is procedure 37.5 degree 37.5 degree this is the procedure of pipe bevel so we cut here also 37.5 degree here also this elbow also 37.5 degree and then after we put the root gap and then after we tack welding then after we finish tack welding then after that hand over to the welder for welding if the quality the company quality is good if company one before welder hand over the job one qc check your job so you must be called to the qc and qc will come to your job he will check if the job is done then qc allow welding to welder this is the procedure of pipe fabrication if my channel or my tutor tutorial is you are like so please you go to my channel and subscribe to my channel and put like or comments what you want to know in future so please thank you